Well, the new policy is that, of course, appropriate monetary policy, in your words, will likely aim to achieve inflation moderately above 2 percent for some time. Uh, for Tom Barkin, what does moderately mean and how far above 2 percent? Well, let's see when we get there. But I think uh, I gave a speech, uh, Mike, you were there in Idaho a year ago, where I said I'm very supportive of a range around 2 percent and a moderate range around 2 percent, um, whether that's one and a half to two and a half or one to three, I think I said is uh, I'm not uh, that focused on the difference between them. But that's something close to, uh, or as somebody put, I think, recently, the word moderate means moderate. Uh, yeah, that somebody uh, was the chairman who also took pains to say over and over in his news conference that the new guidance is strong and powerful, which does not seem to be the read on Wall Street. Uh, why do you think there's a disconnect there? Oh, I don't know if there is a disconnect. The the analysis on Wall Street basically is that you can move interest rates, but you're not going to have much impact on the economy unless uh, demand for credit picks up, unless something is done out of uh, Capitol Hill. Well, I, I just say there's a difference between looking backwards and looking uh, forwards. I think uh, for the last six months, uh, we've gone pretty strong in terms of what we can do to support uh, the economy. And now we're looking forward over the next uh, year or two. Um, I think the forward guidance is uh, particularly powerful as the economy comes back, as I think it's uh, going to. And so uh, if you do see uh, a strength in the economy, if you do see modest overshoots of inflation, I think uh, we're going to be having a different conversation. One of the other things that people are watching in terms of overshoots is the equity markets. Uh, lower for longer, raising financial stability concerns, particularly with P.E. ratios getting to where they are. Are you worried at all that uh, your money that you're putting into the economy may be ending up in the wrong place, stimulating uh, equity acquisition and share buybacks and things like that instead of stimulating growth? Well, I'm not a believer that... Uh you know, lower for longer means zero forever. I do think uh, I want to normalize uh, at some point, and I want to normalize in part as a uh, response to a healthy uh, economy. So I watch, I don't really watch the equity markets as much as I watch leverage levels. And the thing I would be nervous about is if you start seeing uh, leverage in particular sectors that uh, made you concerned. I, I don't think that's where we are yet. 